Hello, hello, hello. Today we are looking at it's a squire. It's a squire jazz master. This one is the 40th anniversary uh, jazz mastery gold edition. And you can tell because it's got a special uh, plate at the back which tells you it's the 40th edition. Um, let's do a zoom in. Let's do a zoomy. And uh, yeah, you can see it says. 1982 to 2022 so that's the 40 years though this is actually was actually constructed in 2021 so it's three years old this was a, a cash's special this was from cash converters in Aberdeen and I saw it and I thought oh, I'll give that a go I give that a go because I was in the mood for a jazz master I did have a jazz master in the past uh, Vintera Jazz Master, which I I don't know if I reviewed. I might have done. Can't remember. I've looked at so many guitars over the last few years. I get confused. Um, and I was in the mood for a Jazz Master because I like the offset body shape. I predominantly play sitting down. In fact, yeah, I play sitting down. There isn't no predominantly. I just sit down and very rarely stand up. And I like the way that the offset hangs when you sit. It just kind of falls naturally. So... Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, I'd like to get a Jazz Master again, but I wanted to try one rather than going full on a, you know, on a full fat Fender one, because they've got some new Fender ones out. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll try this. This is... This was a premium, premium guitar back in 2022. It, I think it was originally like £500. I didn't pay that for this because this is second hand from cash converters. But I thought, you know, give it a go. Could be interesting. Could be a nice guitar to, to look at. And that's why we are doing this. This is why we're talking about it. But yeah, it was to celebrate the introduction of the Squire name back in 1982 and um, there was a whole range of these guitars there was a, a Stratocaster there was a Telecaster I think there was a couple of basses as well I I've already looked at the Telecaster the gold edition of the anniversary Telecaster I shall link to it somewhere that was part of the Harwood collection this isn't this is a Cash's special so doesn't fall under the Harwood uh, collection banner I will do some specs for you the body is poplar, body shaped jazz master, with a gloss polyurethane finish. It's lake placid blue, and uh, it's got almost like a it's almost like a metallic sheen to that. I don't know if you can, you know, it's not a flat blue. It's got it's got some dimension to it. It's quite a nice finish. If you like blue guitars, uh, maple neck, 
Um, it's a C-shaped neck. Again, it feels very different to the Vintera I had, which had a bit more of a, a D, a bit, bit of a different feeling. I think, I think you'd call it a D-shaped neck. I'm probably wrong, but it feels different in my mind. Scale length of 25 and a half inches. Indian laurel fingerboard with perloid inlays. Now this, when it came, was very dry. Uh, and I've conditioned it. I've used some of Monty's uh, conditioning wax again. Done a video on that, and I've got it to look a bit more, a bit more like rosewood. Again, Indian laurel I don't mind so much as a, as a fretboard material. Um, it's better than Palferro, which I find incredibly dry and kind of bitter. You've got to really, again, it can be good if it's sanded and treated well, but. Fender don't tend to do that when it comes to power ferro. So yeah, Indian laurel with perloid block and binding. Very nice, very nice, very premium, very premium and matches um, the uh, the gold sparkle uh, Jaguar I recently looked at. So I like the fact that they are matching. Uh, it's got a bone nut, of course. I don't know if it's real bone. Could be that fake bone, couldn't it? Could be. Uh, what else have we got? We have, uh, yeah, we have this anodized aluminium pit guard. <laughs> stuff I, I don't know I just don't like I just I'm not a big fan of my, my base my fender base from 2000 and whenever 2005 ish I think it's older than that actually that's when I bought it I think it's about 2003 came with one of these and I took it off and put a plastic one and I just it's just again aesthetic and feel I just don't like that I don't like the edges it feels like I'm because I feel like I'm gonna cut my hand on the edges and that's why I prefer a plastic so if I did keep this again I'm deciding whether to keep it or not I would get rid of that and it's got the requisite controls for a jazz master and again for those who don't know uh, Jaguars and jazz masters were originally meant to be like the premium you know one step up from the Stratocaster but everybody 
hated them, didn't get on with them. And then it was rege- they were they were relegated to the charity shops where the likes of Kurt Cobain and the grunge movement found them and adopted them. And that's why lots of jazz masters and jaguars are used in the grunge scene because they were the cheapest guitars you could get at the time because they'd fallen out of fashion. There you go, a little bit of info for you. So yeah, you have this switch here, which of course does the bridge neck and in between you have a tone and a volume standard but it's this circuit up here at the moment with the button down we're in what's known as lead mode yeah it's called lead mode right? and when it's up it's in rhythm mode and that takes it to uh, the bridge pickup and has its own volume and tone controls and these are not p90s or fancy pickups these are single coil but they're very um, narrow and wide and so it gives a different voicing uh, to the guitar and yeah just gives a different voicing and these ones oh these ones are these the fender designed al nico single coils and apparently it's got specially voiced rhythm and lead circuit controls within this particular special edition i'll comment about that later so yeah we've got in both positions the fender designed el nico coil single coil pickups uh we've got a, a great um single uh, sorry six saddle uh vintage style bridge there but it's the mustang style which i prefer again i don't know if you can see that um i prefer that you don't get any slippage and you get the um standard jazz master jaguar tremolo system but you don't get the lock in fender versions of this there's a lock which allows you to lock the arm down so it doesn't go back up supposedly it's to help you with tuning and whatnot so there you go that is the technical specifications um on the i'm looking at the the promo site for fender and it says its features are gold plated hardware, gold anodized aluminium pickguard, uh, gloss body and neck finish. Yeah, it's got a it's got a bit of a shiny gloss neck. I don't mind that. Some people don't like it personally. It doesn't bother me. Don't mind it. In fact, I tend to prefer it over the the matte necks. Again, it's all taste. You know, it's like a it's like keeping your socks on during sex. For you, you probably keep your socks on. I like to take them off probably said too much there um and vintage style tuning machines again it's those tuning ones where you just push the string into the slot and and give it a turn it locks it i like i like those because you can i can string a guitar up really quickly um with that so yeah this was a premium a premium guitar to celebrate squire's 40th anniversary what do I think? Well, again, I wasn't a big fan of the Telecaster one. I remember it felt a little bit, it lacked personality. It lacked a little bit, you know, it felt a bit showy. You know, it was all for show. Uh, again, a good Telecaster is a, is a workhorse. There are workhorse guitars. And I just felt this one felt, it felt, that felt all, all flash, flash and bang. You know, this one, I think is a bit slightly better. Now, when it came to me, um, the high E string was actually snagged by one of the one of the frets up here. There's a rough fret, and the fretages there's a couple of them are a little bit pokey, but yeah, one of the fretages has got a groove in it, and the the high E string was tucked behind it. I thought there was something weird going on until I realised, you know, obviously it acted in transit. Um,
so yeah that's the fit and finish it's a little bit you know for a, a deluxe guitar i expect it to be a little bit a little bit nicer in the fret area and some of the frets are a bit a bit a bit scratchy yeah i don't know if you can hear that it probably needs a fret polish you know that's not good they feel a bit gritty um you know that'll work out again with play you can it'll fix itself but it shouldn't feel like that for a high end uh, guitar but yeah when i got it um i had real bother with it and as i, I said i said to miss said to missus i think it just needs to settle down a bit and it did the neck settled down i think it had been kept in a like a storeroom or something and it was a little bit out of whack but a couple of days in in this in, in this environment uh, seemed to have sorted it out i was i had some buzzing and um so a little bit of choking and it took me a bit of a while to get the neck you know kind of into what into whack there's a lot of um adjusting the into the the net the the height and the intonation um but i think i've got it there i think i've got it but again this was second hand it didn't come out of the box like that i don't know what the previous owner did whoever it was are a bit of a sweaty bastard because some of the screws are rusty and these are gold plated screws these are the gold ones and his sweat has rusted them that's just wipe your guitar down or it was kept in a damp condition so um so yeah it's it's very different reviewing a second hand guitar to a guitar you get straight out of the box because i don't know what the previous person did to this but i got it back into whack and it, it it's it's all right now it's all right now oh baby it's all right now <laughs> um so yeah how does it feel yeah it feels like a jazz master but the sound i don't think it comes anywhere near my my vintera jazz master which i really regret selling now i've kind of regret it because there was a setting in that i think it was in the rhythm setting with a little bit of little bit of distortion in it it had a really kind of smoky sound to it which i really liked um this one yeah it can it's a bit quacky it's a bit quacky in places it does those things it can be a bit abrasive a bit harsh um, but in the neck position it can be a bit smoother and when you put it into the rhythm circuit all that rolls off and you get something that's a real sludge monster so you've got a real wide variety of tones in this thing which is good you know but it says that the the the, the pickups are specially voiced i'm not i'm not getting it i, I don't know you know it's that thing it's all a subjective thing i'm not understanding what's special about this um you know yeah it, it sounds okay i think again if you were i think if you were um looking to try a jazz master and you're unsure i think getting one of these is probably one i think again I don't know if I'd recommend this because 
you could probably pick up a classic vibe one. I think you'd be better off. I think you'd be better off getting a classic vibe one. It's all about cosmetics. It's whether or not you want the block and binding look. And I was looking for something to match my my Jaguar, which is block and bind. I thought it'd be nice if I have like brother and sister. But if you don't care about the cosmetics, I think it might be worth you looking for the classic vibe edition because one cheaper first hand. Uh, but also cheaper second hand too. You can pick those up in the, maybe the 260 region. These are going for about, I don't know, over 300 I think. Because limited edition and it was deluxe. It's a deluxe model. So, um, you know, the price was heading into the low Fender price range when these were on sale. In America, I think they were like $600. Um, so, yeah interesting if you want that if you like blake placid blue and you like the anodized pit guard i mean you know it certainly looks smart and it does all the things but you may be able to get a cheaper option again gold hardware some people love gold hardware uh some people hate it i'm kind of in the middle i think it suits this because the anodized pit guard um but i've got a i've got a strat here with gold hardware which I'm not a big fan of, but I think with this one, I think it, yeah, you know, I think it kind of it works because of the pit guard. But again, if I was to swap that out, it might look a bit pony. I was thinking white perloid. What do you reckon? Get a fancy white perloid pit guard for it, and that might make it look like a an American a US Fender Jazzmaster. But yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. But. It, yeah, it's, like, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. And this is, like I said, this is the problem when you review something secondhand. You can't always give it a definitive, yeah, yeah, no. It's like, yeah, I had to do a bit of work on this to get it to my, to suit me. Some of you out there might like a few buzzy strings. You might like your action low and you might like it flappy. Again, that's up to you. You know, it's your 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 prerogative. I tend to go for a little more of a higher, cleaner sound. Um, but yeah, it took me a long time to fiddle around with it to get it to, to make it the noises I wanted it to make. Um, but other than that, if you can find one cheap, maybe, if you keep an eye on my eBay, you'll find this one going cheap. I don't know. Make me an offer. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. It's um, I think it's a nice way of uh, celebrating Squire's 40th. But what they should have also done, and this is a, another bugbear of mine, they should have done a case. They should have put it in a case. You know, they give you these expensive deluxe guitars and they don't give you a case. 
This didn't even come with a gig pack, I don't think. This did because I got it second hand and the person put it in a gig bag. But um, I don't think it originally did. And I think if Fender and Squire bring out these deluxe editions, a case should come with it with some, you know, with a booklet explaining the anniversary, you know, a certificate of authentication, something to give it that extra zhuzh, you know, that you've given your money over to something that is a limited edition. Crikey, even let us know how many units are made would be nice. You know, so, you know, that's what I always find a bit, a little bit dubious about some of these limited editions. Because you get this, you don't know how many of these. Again, I've got a, a Shaw Mendes one, which end up being incredibly limited. And it's the same with the um, the uh, the Fender 12 that came out a few years back. Uh, that ended up being kind of discontinued almost instantly. It looked like it was going to be a regular player. So it would be nice if Fender and Squire... When they say limited edition, you have an idea of how many units are involved. But I, I'm, I'm just babbling on now. I've spoken far too long on this, and I'm very, very sorry for doing that. But yeah, there you go. It's the Squire Jazzmaster 40th edition, 40th anniversary edition for Squire in gold, the gold edition. Um, if you can pick one up for for cheap, give it a go. And give it a go. Um, the neck is. I, th I really like the block and bound neck, and I again, you know, I like it on the classic vibe ones as well um fender you need to redo a, the 70s jazz master because that's what this kind of apes this is 70s jazz master because i like the block and binding i like that aesthetic um yeah hopefully this has been of interest this has been useful hopefully the demo wasn't too bad and if you like okay, i've got to do the standard youtube disclaimer if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. It all engages the algorithm. If you uh, enjoy what I do, subscribe. And I think there's something to do with a bell or something. Tickle me bell end or something. I don't know. Do that. And there are plenty of other totally mundane and inane, awful guitar videos on this channel for you to check out. Crikey, you can even see me recording my own music. I know, I'm sorry. I, am, I apologize to humanity for my burblings. And yeah. Just thought it would be something of interest for me and for you. Thank you for watching. There's only one more thing left to say. And if you've been around as long as I've been, you should know what that is. And that is, ta-ta.